Justice is a key component in a Muslim's life. And if we do not follow the Quran and Sunnah, how then do you expect to be just in what you, your dealings? How do you expect father to make a just ruling? How do you expect mother to make a just ruling? How do you expect children to be just with their parents? Justice is key. If there's injustice, there's imbalance. When there's imbalance, then there's problem. There's no equilibrium. There's problem within society. And we find there's imbalance all the time. Allah Almighty said in the Quran, after we've created balance in this earth, don't disrupt the balance. Don't disrupt the balance. Don't create facade. Don't uh, spread corruption and, and mischief on the earth after we've made it right. There's balance on this earth. It's Allah Almighty sent the Anbiya. They created balance. All of a sudden, people transgress. They move away. They don't listen to the Anbiya or Rasul. They don't listen to the word of Allah Almighty. There's imbalance. And in our houses, there's imbalance. In our society, communities, there's imbalance. Within schools, there's imbalance. And why is that imbalance? Why is there no equilibrium? Why is there no balance within? There's etidal. Why is there no justice? Because the scales of justice are not in balance. Because we have moved away from the Quran and Sunnah. Because we've neglected the word of Allah and His Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. When you live your life according to Quran and Sunnah, by Allah, there will be balance in your life. There will be justice in your life. You will have fear. Look, Allah said immediately after mentioning justice, He mentions taqwa. What taqullah? What taqullah? Allah Almighty immediately mentions justice. He mentions justice, then He says fear. If you have fear of Allah, then the decision you make will be in your mind. You will think, what would Allah Almighty say about this? Tomorrow, I have to answer to Allah Almighty. If I don't know, I will go to Mufti Sahib. Mufti Sahib, you tell me what is right according to Quran and Sunnah to the Sharia. And then you will have balance. You see, taqwa is key. It comes back down to your fear of Allah. It comes back down to your consciousness of Allah Almighty. May Allah Almighty make us a people who are just. May Allah Almighty make us a people of taqwa. May Allah Almighty instill in our hearts His fear and His love and compassion and mercy.